Virgo placements, what's up? Let's do your reading. Why is it like so down? Hi. So I'm doing a Celtic cross spread for the 13, 13 signs this round. And this is yours, Virgo. Not sure. Virgo. Queen of Swords in reverse. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Interesting. What's crossing you is the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. Uh, it, you want a reconciliation with someone, but you don't know how. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see where this goes. crowning you. Six of Swords, the Moon, Knight of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Okay, what's beneath you? The moon again. There's a lot of hidden energy here. What's behind you? Four of Cups. What's before you? Queen of Pentacles. Your attitude. Death. The death card. Huh? Interesting. You're giving me a vibe of not wanting what you want. Riddle me that. What does that even mean? Not wanting what you want. This is in regard to a person that you want but not want. That you don't want but you want. Let's see what's influencing you. King of Wands. Temptation is what I just heard. Temptation. Hopes and fears. Magician and the Page of Pentacles. Outcome? That was quick. Hierophant. Let's see what you don't see. Ten of Swords. Why are you causing your suffering? Why are you running? Huh? Virgo? It feels like you are causing this discomfort in your life. The discomfort that I speak of is that it's it's almost like you don't want to want the person that you want. <laughs> Does that make sense? My head is hurting. You don't want to want the person that you want. I should close this reading right now. Because that's what I'm getting. Hold on. Actually, my heater is on, and when I do readings, I get hot, so... Hang on. Oh, 
Why are you running, huh, Virgo? Why are you running? Because you're showing up here as someone that is being logical or being like you're giving me the the energy of not wanting to listen to your heart or not wanting to give in to a love that you want to a person that you want to a person that you desire there is also the the temptation here that i mentioned earlier it's like you are causing your suffering Here's the thing. I do sense that you are not really paying attention to what your heart desires. Now, there's a difference between heart desires and genitalia desires. Okay? So I'm not talking about desire in the sense where it's what turns you on. Or what, you know, I'm not talking about your JJ or the penene. Ew. I'm talking about your heart, what your heart desires. And this is like intense feelings of love. You have feelings for someone here, but you're denying yourself those feelings. I feel like there is a part of this that is being forced on you. So it's almost like the universe is making you face this even when you don't want to. In a way, it's forcing you to face this love. Um, you know what I'm getting? You could be seeing this person in other people's faces. You could be seeing their name at random situations or locations. You could be meeting someone that have their name. Or something of that sort is here because it feels like the universe is reminding you of this person constantly. As a way to keep you... As a way to kind of like tell you that it doesn't matter where you go. You can't run from this. I feel like there will be a, some type of realization in the near future about this connection. And it's going to hit you. It's going to hit you. I feel like it's going to make you realize that I can't go on like this. Wherever I go, wherever I run, I can't get away. So, like an epiphany of, I can't run from this, even if I wanted to. Maybe you were confused about this connection before. Maybe you thought it was just like a fling or a connection that you, you know, you get to know someone, you, you fuck around with them, you get over them. Maybe you thought, maybe you underestimated the, the, the intensity of this connection. Or maybe you thought that, you know, it's, it's like any relationship, right? But something here is being realized about this connection. And there is like the universe, or it's like a higher power here that is kind of orchestrating this union. Because with the hierophant as the outcome, it feels like you and this person will be together eventually. But you are pretending or, you know, you're trying to make it seem like it's over. Even though you know it's not over. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you want something to be over because it's too intense or it's too... It's too hard, so you give up on it, or you try to distract yourself with other people. I do see that you are trying to distract yourself with other people. In fact, there could be people that are trying to distract you from this person. I 
And I feel like what you need to know, specifically with this energy, is that you are causing the suffering that you are experiencing. And if you want the suffering to end, start listening to your heart. Start acting on your heart desires. Again, heart desires does not mean your penis or vagina. Okay? I'm talking about heart, heart vibration. Your heart chakra needs to be unblocked because you are blocking it on purpose, thinking that getting away from what your heart desires is going to be in your best interest, but not really, it's causing your suffering. I do see that spirit or the universe is trying to get you and this person on the same page. Now, here's the thing. I do see a lot of changes that are kind of hovering over this connection. So this can be changes within the connection, changes upon the both of you being in this connection. So there is some type of transformation that will happen when the union happens. There is also the energy of uh, the ego being humbled that is crowning this. So it feels like this person is way more important to you than you think. And possibly vice versa, but I'm reading you. I feel like there is there is this energy of humbling the ego here. And it will be through this person or through the connection in general. So there is a lot of mystic energy here. This could be a soulmate. Because when I said mystic, I heard soulmate. So it could be a soulmate. Or someone that you have a soul tie with at least. Even if it's not long term. But I do see long term. The Hereford is, the Hereford is higher commitment. Marriage. Uh, long term. <sighs> see here is the thing Virgo. <sighs> there is like there is the idea that you have here. About you possibly committing to someone. So maybe you have fear of commitment or maybe you're like well if I end up committing to this person then I will have to say goodbye to my single hood or you know I have to commit and you might not want to do that but you on the on a deep level you do on a deep level that's what you're meant to do but maybe on a conscious level on an egotistical level you're saying, I don't want to commit. What if I end up uh, being manipulated into a commitment and then I waste my youth on a situation and I end up like losing out or losing on the youth? Uh, youth, you know, doesn't mean that you're young, young. TK has resonates, but it's like it feels like you don't want to spend your strength or spend your young years on a committed relationship where it could end badly. So I do see you kind of like stressing about the guarantee. It's like, well, is it guaranteed? Well, bitch, nothing is guaranteed in life. The fuck you mean guaranteed? You could, you could choke on your fucking saliva as you are watching me right now. And take your last breath while I'm still playing on your freaking phone or laptop. There, there are no guarantees in life, of course. But this fear is kind of consuming you or misguiding you, I want to say, misguiding you. So here is the thing. If you are feeling this heavy energy... It is because you are resisting your heart desires. 
it's like your heart is screaming for this person, but you are like, shh, shut up. There are plenty of fish in the sea, so to speak. And it, there is kind of like the energy of wanting to entertain many people or as many people as you can. So there is a little ho energy here, a little bit, just a little bit. And I feel like it, it doesn't have to be from you or from your side. You could be really attractive that other people approach you all the time. And because you're a kind person, you never say no. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what you really want, Virgo, deep down, on a deep fucking down level, you want this person. But you're being, you're being stubborn about it. Because your ego is telling you, there are plenty of fish in the sea, don't settle down. What if, what if this person ends up manipulating you? What if, what if you, un, what if you, you miss out on experiences? It's, it's shallow stuff like that, really. Uh, but I do see that this connection between the two of you is almost like out of your hands, meaning that you two are meant to be. You two are meant to be together or you two are meant to be together at least for some time. And when I say some time, I mean long period of time. So, for example, you see how couples sometimes spend like 10 years, 15 years together, but then they grow apart. It could be, it could be that long or for the rest of your life. So this is serious. Spirit is wanting this connection to happen. There is growth here, Virgo, that you and this person will go through together. So it's not going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy in, within this connection. It's going to be challenging, but the challenge in the sense is growth. It's not challenging where you make each other's lives miserable, but it's challenging to the point where you push each other to grow. It's like, I believe you can do this while you're self-doubt, or while you self-doubt, or I know you're meant for more so that you upgrade, or they will call you out on your bad traits so that you heal, work on yourself, so there is growth. This is not to make you enemies, you know, it's not like yapping and like arguing over nothing. I feel like the changes, the challenges that you two will face is to boost you or to help you level up to the level or to the next level as a, as a true partnership, you know? Like when you have someone that you trust, that loves you, and they give you advice, or they see, they see something that you're doing and they point it out, they're not trying to push you off. They're trying to help you out. They're trying to, you know, um, bring something to your attention. And that is a true friend, is a true partner, you know? When, when you have a friend that, that accepts you as you are, as shitty as you are, they're not a friend. Same goes with a lover. They're not a lover if they don't point out the things that you are kind of not seeing yourself. So, I do see that you will have that type of connection where you will grow a lot with this person. But first, I mean, you will have to be with them. So I want to say this, Virgo, cut the crap. Cut the fucking crap. Showing up as the death card. This is your attitude, the death card. It's like, no, I'm done with this. I'm done. When really, you're far from it. At least on a deep down level or a deep level in use, there is no done. In fact, no matter how much you resist this connection, you will be constantly reminded of it until you understand and get it through your thick skull that what your heart desires is what's going to um, is what's going to happen. Does that make sense? So it's, it's like whatever your heart desires is what you need to follow. 
This is why I always say, do what feels right. Feels right. Okay. I'm talking about heart space. Because if you if you live your life uh, with your heart chakra, another level of peace, another level of wisdom, another level of alignment. Because the heart knows. And if you know how the heart communicates, you are fucking intelligent. Not only with yourself, but with other people too. So, again, cut the fucking trap. Cut the fucking trap. Interesting that I say that. Cut the fucking crap. Trap. Cut the fucking trap. I don't know. I I mean, are you are you trying to trap this person? Anyways. So that's that. <laughs> uh these, these, um, what are they? Fuck. My, my mind just went blank. Cross, what are these called? What, what is this spread called? This spread that I've been doing now for the ether for Ephucus and the fire sign so far has been calling people out like the hard way. <laughs> so, so I'll, I'm going to start calling this uh, spread. I forgot the fucking name. I can't fucking remember it, but I'm going to call it calling you out spread. Setting you straight spread. Sounds more appealing to me. Right. Let's pull you another message. Celtic Cross. Yes, fucking thank you. These these Celtic cross spreads uh, have been uh, have been lethal. <laughs> Let me know if you like being roasted. <laughs> I mean, I don't give a fuck to roast, but they have been like intense. You know what I mean. So let me know if you like to be called out. I'll I'll do it more often then. All right. Like message. Virgo. Let's see. Strength. King of Cups. The Lovers. Wow. Whew. We have a soulmate or a twin flame connection here. And you are just in love with this person. There is something about... There is something about... Feeling their energy. It gives you strength, almost like the will to live. I mean, it's towards my end, uh, the end of the day for me. All right, let's see. Ooh, what's beneath you is the tower. So you've you've gone through something with this person. 
there is past of some kind. Or maybe you're still together with this person, but there is a past, if that makes sense. You know, you know when couple go through like a rough patch? It could be that. Or this could be like a separation. Or this could be a past person. All right. I'm going to yawn after every card that comes out. Six of Swords, the Moon, Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Judgment, <gasps> the outcome is the sun, what a beautiful reading we have here. Now there, there are things here to dissect, what you don't see what you don't see is the Eight of Swords. So you could be in separation after all. Because you can't, you can't get rid of this person even if you wanted to. Now here's the thing. This energy feels like, feels different than the other ones slightly. Like they're so similar yet so different. Because the, the reason why I say different is because the Virgo is different. Does that make sense? So the first message, the Virgo is denying their feelings. This Virgo, however, is not denying their feelings. So the only difference between the first message and the second message is that the Virgo is seeing this differently. So Virgo, let's see where this goes in the extended. This looks way more appealing than the first message, to be honest. But anyways, let's see in the extended. Uh, it's in the description box. I'll see you there.